Hey folks, and welcome to Car Stars' 10 Wild Facts About Cobra's 50 Mercury in the 1986 movie, Cobra. Fact number one. There were four fully customized 1950 Mercury Monterey Coupes built for the film by custom car builder Eddie Paul. One was the main hero car used for the close-up actor-driven scenes, and the other three were stunt cars. Fact number two. The Mercs ran modified supercharged Chevy 350 engines, sending the power to a TH400 automatic transmission with a Hearst straight-line shifter. Unlike most movie cars that are just built up to look powerful, these lead sleds were actually supercharged along with functional nitrous oxide systems capable of outputting a beastly 600 horsepower. Fact number three. The custom Mercs sported the typical modifications you see on this era of hot rods, such as a chop top with fringed headlights and taillights. Then there's the not so common modifications that really make this uniquely the Cobra Merc, namely the custom twin hood scoops, solid full moon stainless wheel covers, and of course a full roll cage for the stunt cars. Fact number four. Contrary to popular belief, only one of the three stunt cars was destroyed making the movie not all three, as most people seem to think. One of the stunt mercs, after being repaired and sold off, went through a number of owners and had a flathead V8 swapped in for long distance racing purposes at one point. Eventually, the car sat in a state of disrepair for several years until it was found and purchased by a new owner who commissioned a full restoration of the car back to its former Cobra movie specs by its original customizer, Eddie Paul, once again. Fact number five. The other surviving stunt marks still exist as well, but not as a functional vehicle. This car wasn't fortunate enough to get a restoration like the other stunt car did, but instead was gutted and hung up as a decorative display piece at the Planet Hollywood in New York City. Fact number six. Stallone actually kept the main hero Cobra Merc for his personal car collection after filming as it was still in excellent condition. The car resided in one of his own car garages up until 1994 when it was unfortunately stolen directly from that same garage. More on that story a bit later on. Fact number seven. One of the most common misconceptions you'll read across the web regarding the hero Cobra Mercury is statements that it was later restyled and used briefly in the 2000 remake of Gone in 60 Seconds, but that is incorrect. The confusion that spawned this misinformation was that at the time of that remake movie, the hero Cobra Merc was technically in the hands of the same company that built up a lot of the customized cars for that film, namely the well-known Cinema Vehicle Services. However, the custom 50 Merc that was used in the Gone in 60 Seconds remake was indeed a completely different car that was built by a different custom car builder, which was Dean Bryant. Fact number eight. There have been a few decent publicly known replicas of the Cobra Merc pop up over the years, such as this fairly accurate example that resides in a large personal car museum in Brazil known as the CP Collection. However, it doesn't seem to be too popular of a car to replicate in general, probably due to most folks' distaste of the look of the twin hood scoops that stand out a little bit too much on the otherwise smooth body style. Fact number nine. The restored to movie spec stunt Cobra Merc still exists today in show quality condition and currently resides in the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia. Fact number 10. Cinema Vehicle Services, unaware that the hero Cobra Mercury they had was hot property, put the car up for public auction in 2009. The auction listing caught the eye of Stallone, in which he then contacted CVS informing them of the situation and requested they return the car to him, but they refused. So, to make a long story short, after a lengthy legal battle, the car was finally returned to Stallone in 2011, along with $3 million in damages, 17 years after it was stolen from his garage. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time!